Hey, what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an updated Q&A because I have not done a Q&A in 2024 yet and I asked you guys on my Instagram and you guys asked me a lot of freaking questions, some juicy ones too. So if you don't have me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram so you are updated on if I'm doing a Q&A or you know, I just post a lot on there. Let's just jump right on into it and let's start answering this question. I feel like I get this question asked all the time. Are you dating? So currently I'm not like quote unquote dating. I'm not going on dates. I'm not like, you know, trying to speak to people, talk to people like that. No, I'm not dating. As of right now, I'm currently not dating. Name three things you love about yourself. Who that is hard, girl, because I feel like I'm not confident at all anymore, and I feel like I have really bad body dysmorphia, but I can't say things about like my appearance, but I could say that I am, I love how strong I am. I love that I can get through almost any and everything with my head held high. And the third one, I love my smile. Okay, yeah, because I feel like now that I have braces, even though my teeth weren't bad before, but you know, they're like, you know, gonna look so cute once I get my braces off. Not a question, but I hope you find love again. Honestly, I want to find love within myself. Like, I want to love myself again. I feel like I have not been confident at all. I feel like when Gabriel passed away, my previous boyfriend, if you don't know, he passed away in 2022. When he passed away, he took my confidence with him. And that, like, sucks because I am just always, like, with a gray cloud of rain over my head. And I'm trying every day to, you know, get up, keep trying, and being motivated to find purpose in life. Come to Houston I have a huge crush on you fly me out first of all I'm just kidding <sighs> how do you not catch feelings when filming OF content with someone else well it's kind of like how people especially in the gay community you could just hook up with honestly any and everybody and not have feelings like the gay community is so crazy but majority of the people i do collab and film with they are also other creators and we have contracts and we know that it's just strictly filming like i don't even want to be friends outside of filming so i feel like people have that misconception a lot and they think like oh you moved on or this and the third when it's like it's genuinely filming just like a normal person who does adult content that works for a studio they you know meet their co-stars and they freaking film and it is what it is there's no real connection it's honestly entertainment once that camera is on it's like a switch in my head i know that this is entertainment and there's no feeling strings or any emotions like that attached to it but i'm a really good actor so that's why you know i'm in the industry i'm in update on gianna so i said this before that i was honestly just quote unquote becoming trans because i thought if i became like a new person that my feelings and emotions would not feel the same which clearly does not work like that so i was just running from my grief happy that i did not get on hormones and all that like how i was planning on to i really thought about it and was like okay this isn't really what i want like this is not gonna make me feel any better from grief how are you now mentally and how are you still coping with Gabe's passing and are you and his family so uh I'm coping every day you know like I say I'm very a big advocate on grief and I say that if you are grieving somebody and you have those days because we all have those days where we're just sad and we're missing them don't run from it I was very 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 much running from grief when he first passed away I was honestly using any and everything to cope and not feel so now I, whenever I feel sad and I feel grief, I just sit, I let it consume me, but I don't let it take over my whole day. I can't get stuck in the sadness because time will pass by and just pass by and pass by and I'll be stuck sad, you know? So yeah, and his family, I just seen his parents literally like two days ago prior to this. You guys need to have me on Instagram because I went to the food truck, then I went to go see Gabriel. Um, So I still communicate with his family, clearly. Uh, We know you, a Scorpio, but what's your moon and rising sign? Y'all, I'm a triple scorpio like my moon my rising and my sun 
tres are a Scorpio. So y'all know I love hard and I'm all about loyalty. And if you double cross me, then it is what it is. And I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to be the same with you. But I'll forgive you. But I don't forget. Here, you're pointing a blank. What's your body count? First of all, I'm a grown adult. I feel like if you're asking people what their body count is, that's very immature of you. Because it's like, who even counts their body count? Like, let's be so for real. Like, y'all think y'all getting gold stars because you're like, oh, I got a two two person body count. I got a three person body count. Like, baby, that means you're ugly and you can't get none. I said what I said. Period. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> I'm grown. What that? I'm not sitting here asking people, what's your body count? What's your body count? What's your body count? That's very, very, very weird because like I'm a grown ass man. Like, mm, weird. Is it pink? Um, I don't know. You can get a subscription down below or because I know who asked this <laughs> You could come find out after the gym sesh because I'm still waiting on us to have a gym sesh advice for people who are Grieving honestly just take it day by day and keep in mind that it does not get better What gets better is you dealing with it because that was something I would hear a lot that it's gonna get better It's gonna get better when that feeling is never gonna go away that emptiness is never gonna go away what gets better is you learning how to like keep going and not letting it you know consume you because there were so many days where I wouldn't even get up to shower and I'm so thankful for my dogs because clearly they need to go on walks and get shown attention if I didn't have them to motivate me to get up out the house and stuff I would have been just stuck in the bed all day all like it was just it was just not it are you still looking for an apartment? Yes, I'm currently still apartment hunting. I know not even three months ago I was homeless. I'm so thankful and blessed that the Lord has put me in the position that I am to now like be able to start looking. And I'm in a spot too where I need to keep going. At first, I didn't want to like move right away because I didn't want to be alone. So now I am growing and 2024 is all about healing and elevating. So I was like, you know what? It's time, you know, to live on my own and not rely on anybody and I need to learn how to be alone with myself with my inner thoughts with my sadness because that is the biggest lesson I need to learn in 2024 is being alone and being comfortable with myself and my loneliness and my thoughts in my head top three countries you want to visit and why ah honestly I want to go any and everywhere I do want to go to um like Japan because I feel like I love freak literally I just got a fucking pack of seaweed and some spicy noodles like I want to go to there because yeah I like feel like the fashion and like the culture and everything so it's very I'm gonna eat seaweed you guys I'm so obsessed with seaweed seaweed or seaweed I don't know how you say it but definitely Japan I'm a little slow. I'm like, what are countries? I'm just kidding. Not really. <laughs> um, sorry, I graduated from YouTube University. There's Mexico. Yeah, Mexico is a country. I want to go to Cancun. Like, I really want to go to Cancun. That's somewhere I've always wanted to go with Gabriel. And I feel like this year I want to travel a lot. So, definitely Cancun, Mexico. Where's another one? Probably Puerto Rico. Because they love gays out there. I like sun, I like the beach, I like anything in that nature. Will you do a story time on the accident when he passed in your arms with all of? Um, no, just because I don't really talk about that because, I mean, that's like a trauma, trauma thing. And I think about it often, so how is life now? Um, life is life. Life is lifing. I feel like I'm already, the time is click clicking i'm 25 um i know a lot of people that are like 30 in the 30s are like bro when you're 25 you think you're gonna have it figured out but it's not where you're at it's perfect but it's like dang that's how i feel about it just dang hi chris just wanted to say i'm super proud of you and your growth how are the fur babies thank you i appreciate it it's crazy too because sometimes i forget to realize that people and have watched me from like day one or from like you know years ago and they've seen me seen my transformation they've seen everything that life thrown at me they've seen all the obstacles i've overcome that's freaking crazy and that's so beautiful because people generally know you know the struggle and they see the change and i always get that you can see the grief in my eyes or like my glow is not there anymore but that has to do with confidence i'm not confident anymore i feel like i'm trying to learn how to be confident again but it's like the one person that validated me the most and made me feel so secure is not here no more so 
I kind of have to like, you know, deal with it. What are your goals of 2024? And I wanted to say I'm proud of you. Keep going. Thank you. I appreciate you. And 2024, my main goal is to learn how to be within myself and alone and independent. Could you ever see yourself walking away doing social media and leaving Colorado? Wow. I was literally thinking about this heavily because clearly I'm like searching for apartments now and I'm like dang is Colorado where I want to be because all my family's in California so it's been heavy on my mind but I don't know I would get, pack all my stuff and move to California but I would also have that like side where I would feel guilty because Gabriel my previous boyfriend he's buried in Colorado so I feel like I would feel kind of not selfish but I would have some type of guilt because i do go and visit him especially when i am feeling sad and i'm missing him the most and i realize if i move out of state i won't have that luxury of going to see him like that you know even though i know whenever i need him or like just think about him he'll be here but i don't need to like necessarily go to his grave every freaking day like i used to i'm like learning like it's okay like i think about him every day literally every day i cry for him almost every day still like he's never not on my mind but I know in our plans, when he was alive, we were going to move to California eventually. So I feel like I need to keep tracing my dreams. And it's like hard. It's honestly hard. It's really hard. Like my situation is really hard. And I don't know. Maybe in the future, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Like I genuinely don't know. Have you dreamed about Gabriel? The majority of these questions are about Gabriel. But I mean, literally my life is about grief because i mean that's like a big part of it you know but yes i have multiple times and i'm just like please don't let me wake up okay guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little q a updated 2024 i feel like i answered a lot of people's questions because they wanted to know certain things and they asked us certain things a lot some i didn't answer because i was on a podcast stay tuned for that and i answered a lot and went more in debt i'll see you guys in my next video bye